Yeah, it's time to go. Yeah, yeah, it's time to go. Um, preparation, we feel like, is in a good spot. The guys' attitudes in a good spot. Um, health is good, so uh, we're ready for the next challenge. What has stood out to you about the way Donovan's been a leader with this group since he arrived? Uh, just his voice. You know, you don't know guys. Obviously, you get to watch them play and you know all those things, but you don't really get to see the behind the scenes and what guys are like every single day. Um, and you know, his willingness to communicate, uh, you watch him like in certain drills when we're playing live and in the action, he's telling guys where to go to create advantage. Um, you know, so again, those are things that you don't get an opportunity to see a lot when you don't have a guy, but you know, just watching him and like, he's got a genuine feel of being a part of the team where guys want to listen and he, they know that he's trying to help you know, the team. It's not go here so I can get this shot. It's go here so the defense does this and then we can make the easy play. Have you observed anything about in that regard off the court? Like just maybe if he's working with guys or when you guys are, you know. Yeah, I mean, him and Darius, obviously, they, they spend a ton of time together. Um, but you watch them, you watch him just interact throughout the building. Like you watch him in the training room. You know, you watch him in the weight room, the lounge, like he's talking to guys all the time. Um, you know, he and I have had a ton of conversations about different things that he sees, um, you know, to help improve the team on the court, off the court, you know, those types of things. So you see, again, his willingness to lead and give suggestions and try to help improve. I know you're big into role delineation, like that word, SAT word. <laughs> there you right go, there, for you. there you go. Um, what is Donovan's role for you guys? Uh, I mean, he's got to be himself. Uh, I think that's first and foremost. Like, you don't bring a guy who's accomplished as much as he's accomplished uh, and then ask him to be somebody different. Um, so putting him in positions where he's comfortable. But, you know, we also have higher expectations um, for him all over the floor. Um, you know, we want him to be a guy who, if the moment calls for it, he facilitates. Um, you know, you put the scoring aside because you know he's going to do that. Um, we want him to be a guy who takes one-on-one -on -one defensive challenges. Um, you know, again, he's proven to us that he's capable of doing that. Uh, and that just sets the rest of your defense. So uh, we want him to be an elite two-way player, uh, which we know he's capable of. Do you in any way, JB, have to take some of that off of him because of the burden that he's probably going to have to carry on the offensive end? No, uh, you know, he wants to do it. Um, he understands the identity of this team. And again, it's a guy who wants to be a part of it and doesn't isolate or separate himself. Uh, but he's also got a lot of help on the offensive end of the floor. Um, I don't think that he's going to have to carry a lo as large of a burden um, as he has in the past. You know, you put him together with Darius, uh, who last year carried, you know, a hell of a burden himself. So now, you know, you can pull that back. And again, you can kind of ping pong it. So one guy doesn't have to feel like, you know, they're out there by themselves. Um, you know, if they got the hot hand, you're going to ride the hot hand. Um, but you think about all the things we can do, you know, with Bert, Kevin, Jared, Evan, like there's a bunch of guys that we can put the ball in their hands, not just as scorers, but as facilitators, so that one guy shouldn't have to feel the burden of carrying the entire offense. Who did not practice today? Uh, Ricky and Dylan. Just those two? Just those two. Is Dylan traveling with you? Uh, no, I don't expect him to. Okay. Um, who's starting at small forward? Nice try. Buddy. <laughs> One more thing about Donovan. How do you, like, do you have a conversation about the burden part or you wait to see how it plays out and then maybe? No, we, we, like, we have clear conversations with all our guys about their roles. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I mean, it's crystal clear what he needs to do and what his expectations are. And we do it in front of the entire team. So he knows what Darius's role is. He knows what Evan's role is. Uh, he knows what Ricky's role is. So, you know, when you see how the roles are laid out, like, you know, it's not just you on your own. So because we do it, you know, intentionally in front of each other, like everybody has an understanding of how they all fit together and how the pieces work. When did that happen? Like after practice the other day? Uh, it was before practice on Monday. 
for players, there's a lot of anxiousness that comes with season opener. Is there the same thing for coaches? And and how do you kind of combat that and make sure that you right, got to settle in and then we're good to go? Uh, you you want I wouldn't use the word anxiousness. Like okay. you want to see how you compare to your opponents for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, the start of the season is always you know that give and take of looking for what's really best. You know, like you go into every season with a plan and then you see how that plan holds up and if you've got to make an adjustment, you make an adjustment. You know, you think about last year, for example, you know, we came into the season with the mindset that we were going to play fast and shoot a bunch of threes um, and our defense was terrible, right? So we made the decision to slow the game down, which gave our defense an opportunity to set, which gave our length an opportunity uh, to prevail and it gave us our identity. So, you know, we have our plan going in, you know, our, you know, our foundation and our core never changes, but, you know, schematically what you're doing on the floor versus your opponents, um, you know, this is like the jab, so to speak, the early rounds of a boxing match until you figure out exactly who you are and what works for you. One of the things that Darius mentioned yesterday was that he's expecting more catch and shoot opportunities from behind the arc with the addition of Donald. How do you expect that to affect how much space everyone else has to play with offensively? I mean, it's, it's, you know, we talk about the gravity of guys, right? We talked about that in the past with Kevin, for example. Um, you know, they're not going to leave him. You know what I mean? Like everybody in the league is on high alert that these guys are capable shooters and scorers. So you're less likely to overcommit to the strong side of the floor when those guys are on the weak side. So when they do come, typically they're going to be late. And now you're trying to work a two-way stunt instead of being in your position already and then being able to close out and do both. So um, you know, you think about and you just use your you know imagination and you put you know Kevin, Darius, and Donovan on the weak side in an action, and then you've got. Karis over here with Jared or Evan, you know, playing in a two-man game. Now you're creating advantages where places guys don't want to leave on the weak side. You got a lot of space to go to work and do what you need to do. Do you guys have a, the last question? Do you guys have like a target number of three pointers you want to get up per game, or is it something that's going to fluctuate from? Yeah, night to night? we we want to get good shots, uh, and that's our goal. You know, obviously, we talk to the guys and we prioritize our shot selection. Uh, but we're not just going to be casting threes to get to a number. Um, we feel confident that we have guys that are going to create threes for others, uh, and that's what our goal is, to create as many good looks as we can. you ever going to wear a suit right. again? Thanks, no. Coach. No? <laughs> I, I hope not. We'll see what the league says. But. Oh, is that?